I can multiply two and three digit numbers by one digit numbers with regrouping. Let's try multiplying 45 times three. First, we'll want to rewrite the numbers so they're on top of each other with the big number on top, like this. Notice how the numbers are lined up with the ones under the ones. Now, we'll multiply the ones together. Three times five is 15, but I can't put a 15 in the ones place of my answer. Remember that each place in a number only holds one digit. I'll have to regroup, just like when I add or subtract and that happens. The five in 15 goes here in the ones place because those are five ones. And I'll carry that group of 10 up above the tens place. The number 15 has a 10 and five ones. That 10 should really be with the other tens. Now I'll multiply by the tens place. So three times four is 12. And I'm gonna add that number that I carried to my product of 12 before I write it down. So first I multiply, three times four is 12. Then I add what I carried. 12 plus one is 13. 13 can go down in my answer. Now we have our answer. 45 times three equals 135. Let's try one with three digits this time. Let's try multiplying 517 times five. Once again, I'm gonna start by multiplying the ones and then I'll multiply by the tens and then I'll multiply by the hundreds. Five times seven is 35, but I know I can't put a 35 in the ones place of my answer. I'm going to have to regroup. So I'll put down the five and I'll carry that three groups of 10 up above the tens place. The three and 35 represents three groups of 10, and those tens need to be with the other tens. Now, I'll multiply by the tens place. Five times one is five. But before I write that down, I need to add the number that I carried to it. Five plus three is eight. That can go in the tens place of my answer. Finally, we'll multiply by the hundreds place. Five times five is 25, and I don't have any digits left to multiply, so I can actually put the 25 here. We have our answer. 517 times five is 2,565. Let's look at one more example. This time, we'll have to regroup twice. We're gonna multiply the ones. Six times eight is 48. But I know by now that I can't put a 48 in the ones place of my answer. So I'll put down the eight. And I'll carry that four, which is really four groups of 10. I'll carry it to up above the tens place so that those four tens can be with the other tens in my problem. Now let's multiply the tens place. Six times six. Six times six is 36. But I know before I write that down, I'm going to have to add that number that I carried, that four, I'm gonna have to add that to it. So I have 36 plus the four that I carried, that's 40. Hmm, I can't put a 40 in the tens place of my answer. Remember that each place only holds one digit. We'll have to regroup again. I have 40, I can put the zero down and carry the four up above the hundreds place. 40 tens is really four hundreds. Now I need to multiply one more time. I multiplied by the ones, I multiplied by the tens, and now I'm multiplying my one digit number by the hundreds place. Six times four is 24. But remember, before you write that down, you need to add the number that you carried to it. 24 plus the four that I carried is 28. 
And I don't have any digits left to multiply. I don't have anything in the thousands place. So I can actually go ahead and plop the 28 straight down into my answer. And now we have our answer. 468 times 6 is 2,808. Here are some reminders. Line up your numbers so that the one digit number is under the ones place of the larger number. Multiply one place at a time until you've multiplied the one digit number by all of the digits in the top number. So times the ones and then times the tens and then if you have hundreds, multiply it by the hundreds. If you end up with a two digit answer when you multiply, carry the tens above the next digit and add them in next time you multiply.